Welcome back to another top 10 video. Today, I am giving you my list for the overall most powerful villains in Young Justice. I enjoy making superhero videos. If you like to watch, don't forget to subscribe. Number 10. Simon. He's the right-hand man of Queen Bee, who uses his psionic powers to advance the Light's causes. In the first season, he's the chief foil of Miss Martian and the one who learns the truth that Miss Martian is really a white Martian, treated as a second-class citizen on her home planet. Simon uses mind reading, telekinesis, and psychic blast to take out his opponents, making him a formidable foe. Number 9. Blockbuster. Blockbuster is one of the few villains in the show who is capable of going blow for blow against the entire team of young heroes. Blockbuster has enough power to take on the likes of Superboy and Aqualad at the same time and still come out on top. He is not particularly memorable, but he is certainly powerful. Number 8. Deathstroke. Deathstroke lives up to his reputation as arguably the most dangerous assassin in the DC Universe. He takes over the shadows after Rez Al Ghul abandons them, becoming their new leader and a key member of the Light. He shows that even without superpowers, you can still be a huge threat to superheroes. Number 7. Black Beetle. He was the head of security for the Reach, a secret alien invasion force. Black Beetle has all of the powers of Blue Beetle, but none of the morals. He ruthlessly neutralized beings that were no longer useful to his purposes, engaged in mass murder, and took particular pleasure in physically brutalizing his enemies. He was strong enough to overpower both Superboy and Wonder Girl with ease. Due to his vast power set and enjoyment of violence, Black Beetle is one of the most deadly villains in Young Justice. Number 6. Granny Goodness. Granny is a new god from the planet Apocalypse and a loyal servant to Darkseid. As a new god, her strength and durability is enough to go up against most any hero. But because she is so cunning and manipulative, she rarely is in a position where she has to. And even if she's overpowered, she can always boom tube away. That's one scary grandma. Number 5. Black Adam. Black Adam is a character with abilities so vast, he even gives the Justice League tough fights. He is so strong, he knocked out Superboy with one punch. He was able to easily ragdoll the entire Young Justice team. He probably has the potential to be placed higher on this list, but he just doesn't appear enough. Still, he has the power of the gods. Number 4. Lobo. Lobo is an alien bounty hunter, the very best in the universe. He has strength that rivals full-blooded Kryptonians. He is also one of the most durable villains in the show. Lobo withstood a hail of gunfire, as well as blows from Wonder Girl and explosives planted by Batgirl with no apparent ill effects. He took a combination of attacks of lava, lightning, and cannon fire with no problem. He wasn't even phased by losing one of his fingers, because he has an amazing healing factor. Nobody messes with the main man. Number 3. Vandal Savage. He has survived for around 50,000 years and is still in his prime. He is effectively immortal, being able to recover from any damage. Because he has been alive so long, he is one of the most cunning villains on this list. He had thousands of years of battle experience and an incalculable fortune. His age makes him patient and extremely deadly. He may not have conquered the world yet, but I think it's only a matter of time. Number 2. Amazo. Amazo is an android that has the ability to mimic any superpowers it encounters. It took the Justice League several hours to defeat him originally, which should tell you how big a threat he is. Because he is robotic, Amazo can always be rebuilt once beat. What makes him such a threat is his ability to adapt real time in the fights. And after facing dozens of heroes, Amazo is nearly an unstoppable enemy. Number 1. Clarion. Clarion is a lord of chaos and as such is a powerful magic user. According to Dr. Fate, he is chaos personified and cannot really be contained. He has a plethora of knowledge of various magic and spells, affording him nearly limitless abilities such as being able to transform himself, travel into other dimensions, energy projection, shapeshifting, telekinesis, and so much more. He is just as powerful as Dr. Fate, but uses his power to create chaos. In a way, he represents a force of nature and can never be truly defeated. No matter what the heroes do, the witch boy will always come back 
and use his near limitless power to torment them. That's my list, I hope you liked it. If you have any other top 10 superhero topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.